Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Zita and on my channel I share with you DIYs and makeovers on a budget. And don't forget to follow me over on my socials at Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, and Etsy. So let's get started on today's DIYs. Today I'm going to be sharing three smash can DIYs with you and I have these three beautiful napkins here. I have a purse and then some cans. So you're going to look for the cans with the uh, lip on the bottom guys. Uh, I don't know if you saw my last smash can video. I'll put it in the description box for you but I had a lot of trouble getting the uh, bottoms off the cans because they were rounded edges. So I. I couldn't use them, painted a whole bunch, did this step and couldn't use them because I couldn't get the rounded bottoms off. So make sure you look for that. So my first step there was to put a Fusion Ultra Grip on them. This is going to help the paint stick to your cans and so it's still clear once it's dry. So once I've got that done, I'm going to smash down my cans. Now one of the cans, uh, I did uh, drill some holes in them beforehand. But uh, after doing this, I would drill the holes in your cans uh, before you paint and after you have them smash because my holes were uh, off-centered uh, when I drilled them first uh, and they didn't line up on each side on some of them. So I would do that after you have them smashed down. So you can use some pliers to try to get that bottom closed and then you can use a rubber mallet or hammer to try and get it closed some more. And if it's not closed all the way, that's okay. You can kind of cover it up with your napkin. So I painted those up with some chalk paint and I gave them a couple of coats. And uh, my first wall pocket here, I'm using this beautiful um, lilac napkin with actually I think it has some hydrangeas on there and some butterflies so guys you see here that I pulled off um, one ply of the napkin well <laughs> turns out all of these napkins I'm using here were three ply I'm so used to using dollar store napkins that are only two ply that I only pulled off one ply of the napkin and it seemed very thin but it wasn't so guys make sure your napkins <laughs> are all pulled apart check to see on your package if they're two ply or three ply I ordered these from Ninny napkins guys so I'll post a 10% off coupon code in my description box so if you guys want to order some of these napkins you can get 10% off um, so um, yeah as you can see here I only pulled apart one ply so <laughs> I am putting down the napkin with a poly vine and I also got this from Ninny, Ninny Napkins and I'll like I said post that link in the description box and you can get 10% off. This is my first time trying the poly vine. I usually use um, uh, Mod Podge but this is uh, a lot thinner than the Mod Podge if you're looking for a, a thinner glue. So I start out halfway with my napkin and like in the center, put down my glue, apply that and you can use saran wrap. I use an old shower cap which is really soft plastic. So once I have the half smoothed out, then I um, put my glue on the other side and then smooth that out. So I'm just cutting off some of the excess at the bottom, not too close to the bottom because I'll fold that over to the back so it kind of covers up the bottom. And then once I have that done, I'm going to put the glue on top of the napkin to seal it in. So guys, and you'll see coming up here, I didn't know that the napkins were three ply at this point. So I'm, I'm applying all the glue and stuff and still don't know that these napkins are three ply until the last can, well, yeah, the next can I do, you'll see that I notice that the can is actually a three ply napkin and I wasn't gonna peel it all off. So I ended up 
putting more glue on top just to keep it down there. So it did stay down, but I think you will, you're going to get a smoother finish if you know you have all of the napkin pulled apart. <laughs> so make sure again that you check for that. So here I have an old purse that's kind of falling apart. I've had it for years. So it was time to use it for one of my crafts. So this purse had a little ruffle on it. So I'm uh, taking it apart and I'm just going to use that ruffle and I'm going to put that on the bottom of the can. So guys, if you have some old purses laying around, instead of throwing them out, you could use them for your crafts. Um, anything you want that you can put on the bottom of these cans. You can leave it as is. You can put some ribbon. You can put some twine anything you can think of really so I just kind of took that apart and then I'm going to use my hot glue gun to put place that on the can and I actually put it on the back as well so I'm just making it thinner here so it fits nicely on the bottom so guys if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet please consider subscribing I'm trying to grow my channel I put a lot of work into my videos and I really want to grow our DIY community so please consider hitting that subscribe button and also click the notification bell that way YouTube will notify you when I post new videos. So here I've thinned out that ruffle and I'm going to get my hot glue gun and glue that all around the uh, ruffle and then press it onto the can. And guys if you have some um, I have these little finger rubber fingers that I got from the dollar store to put, put over your fingers because I've burnt myself with this hot glue so many times so as you can see I've put the I put the pink uh, rubber thing on my finger and I'm using my other hand to still apply the glue so I might need to put these on all of my fingers guys <laughs> um, so yeah if you see some of those at the dollar store pick some up for yourself because that glue can get really hot and you can burn yourself really easily so practice your safety precautions so isn't this beautiful I love that little ruffle on the bottom what do you guys think of that it's a uh, purple a type of purple so it ties in with the napkin so right here I'm using some floral wire and I got a loaf pan full of beads there so I'm just kind of picking out some beads that will kind of tie in with the napkin the purple on the napkin so I think I'm using like a purplish pink here and a blue that uh, will tie in with the napkin and I'm just twisting that around in the holes there and uh, like I said I think the hole on this the holes on this can were kind of off center see one was kind of towards the front and one was kind of towards the back but it still looks beautiful so yeah I would suggest drilling your cans after you have them smashed and I put lavender in this one but I switched it up and I put some hydrangea in there so guys let me know what you think of this one do you like that little ruffle on the bottom or would you have left it as is So my next smash can here guys I have this beautiful cherry blossom um, napkin with a bird on it it's so beautiful I love it so guys right here you'll see that I cut the napkin wrong I cut it in the wrong direction I should have cut it the other way just just the way the design of the birds went so I had to cut it in half again just to just so it the design went in the right direction uh, I'm making lots of mistakes here guys so you guys can learn from my mistakes it seems like I'm on a roll with crafting mistakes in my last three or four videos so I still want to share them with you guys so you guys can learn from my mistakes and save your time and energy and not make the same mistakes I make and I'm not a perfect crafter so I uh, I like to share this with you guys too, just you know, just to to know that you know we all make mistakes. So don't get upset at yourself if you make 
a crafting mistake. It's, you know, it's, we learn from our mistakes. And I know that I'll always check my napkins to make sure that they're two ply or three ply from now on. So here is where I notice. See how that bubbled up, guys? That's how I ended up notice. I put my glue on there and it started to bubble up. So that's how, that gave me a clue that the napkin was, had another ply on it. And see there, I pulled off that just to show you guys. And it looks very thin. But it was thin with the just the one ply taken off too. But it was very thin with the second ply taken off. So for the handle on this one, I'm using some raffia. And I'm just using one uh, pink bead on this. And this is going to tie in really nicely with the, the cherry blossoms on the napkin. And uh, these beads here, guys, that I'm using, I got these at the Dollar Tree. So check out your local Dollar Tree. They have uh, lots of nice beads. And these ones here were kind of like um, an um, oval shape. They were longer. So, yeah, they have like round beads, square beads, oval beads. And so check out your local Dollar Store for some cheap beads. So this one I just tied up. Uh, it was pretty simple this one and in this one I um, put some um, lavender floral and it tied in really nicely with the, the this uh, color on this napkin and I also got this floral at the Dollar Tree as well guys I was having some trouble finding florals at the dollar stores lately. It seems like it was every one of the dollar stores in my location was out of florals. So it must be hard to get right now. Um, but I found some at the Dollar Tree and I grabbed a whole bunch of it. So what, what do you think of this one, guys? Do you like this cherry blossom and bird on this so you can hang these over your chairs on a knob uh, you can resell them if you want which is what I'm gonna do and uh, yeah you can hang these anywhere you can make them so different everyone is unique and different so as you can see here guys I put a bunch more glue on top of there so it doesn't look too bad now so for my final can today guys i'm using another bird napkin this one is really beautiful too this napkin um had a script on it as well so this i love this one i can't choose between this one and the other bird one and you guys will have to let me know in the comments what you think of all of these napkins and I'll have some more videos coming up in the future with uh, using some more napkins that I got at Ninny Napkins. They have so many beautiful napkins. So again, I'll leave that 10% off link in the, my description box. So I'm doing the same thing here again, starting out in the center, working my way out with the glue, pressing it down and just going to the other side and doing that and doing the same thing on the back as well. So for the handle on this one, guys, I'm using a wine cork here that I had on hand. And I'm just using a small drill bit to drill a hole into the center. Put a piece of wood underneath so you don't drill through your desk like I did in uh, one of my latest videos. Um, <laughs> uh, and be careful put your safety glasses on so i'm putting that floral wire through the uh, cork um and then i'm going to put some beads on each end and for this one because the birds are green and there's some blue in there too i'm using some uh, three beads two green and one blue on each side and that ties in really nicely with the um, birds and the script on the napkin so I put that cork in the center and then I put three beads on the other side and this one is done. So guys, I hope these all gave you guys some inspiration today. Let me know in the comments which one of these 
um, smash cam wall pockets was your favorite and let me know how you guys would do your wall pockets if you would put something on the end or not so let me know in the comments guys and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so stay tuned for the reveal on this one and the rest of them and i'll see you guys in the next video thanks so much for sharing your time with me today guys bye